Today, a group of activists decided to barricade a bus that was supposed to be transporting asylum seekers from a hotel in Peckham in London to the Bibby Stockholm. They surrounded the vehicle, slashed its tyres and wedged bikes underneath. Now, I'm going to show you a series of clips from that scene. Now, I do want to warn you that there may well be some bad language here. The atmosphere was incredibly volatile and, as you'll see, at times it was violent. I'm here in Peckham where protesters have sat in front of a bus, they've slashed the tyres of it and they're barricading themselves in front of it now in an attempt to stop it taking migrants from a hotel nearby on board the Bibby Stockholm. As it currently stands, we understand that the Home Office have decided to reverse the decision to actually take people to the Bibby Stockholm. OK, as you can see, as you can see, as you can see, it's an incredibly tense atmosphere here. OK, and uh, we we'll just want to just go and uh, we're just going to go and try and see what people make of it, why they're here and what their main motivations are. So let's go and have a chat with them. So here in solidarity with immigrants, um, I feel that this really is very much a political, this is really political manoeuvring in time for the election. It's about grabbing headlines. It's not really anything serious. And I think the government's idea of sending people to Rwanda is really, really appalling. Is it specifically about the Bibby Stockholm or is it about the whole thing? Well, it's... GB News. Off 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 TV News! I just want to know why you're here. Off TV News! Off. Hello. Is it possible to ask you why you're here? Oh, guys. Uh, Off TV News! What strongly TV about that? TV News! No comment! Okay. Is it uh, just about the Rwanda plan or is it specifically about the Bibby Stocker? Don't speak to journalists! Okay, alright, fine. I just want to know a pretty straightforward question. Okay. Have you had to take the day off work today? Have you had to take the day off work today? Okay, hello. Hello. That's why you're here today. TV News! TV News! TV News! Hello. TV News! One thing that you'll notice is that despite the criminal damage that had taken place, the aggressive environment and the massive disruption that this was causing, there didn't appear to be any police in riot gear, no horses, no real police action to speak of. But then things did escalate. There's someone over here now who looks as though they're currently being arrested. Get back, please. Get back, please. OK, are you OK? Are you OK? Are you OK? OK, Ben, are you OK? Are you okay? Are you okay? Okay. As you can see, this is an incredibly tense atmosphere here. Uh, that individual was pushed into the streets. Uh, there's another man on the side. I saw it. I saw it. Yeah, and it is on film. Yes. Okay. And there's an individual on the street here. This has the potential to really boil over, I think. The protesters are, have been chanting there, let him go, let him go, the police at the moment. Obviously, it's not immediately clear to me if that man needs medical attention or if he's being arrested. I'm not 100% sure. There's individuals here. OK, well, excuse me, you can't do that to the camera now. I can now. do whatever I want. No, you can't actually do whatever you want, sir. The police, so the police are taking people away now. So the, the police have just started taking some people away, as you can see. OK. OK. Now, my cameraman, my cameraman has just been assaulted. OK, Ben. OK, OK. Now, this individual, this individual has just assaulted a GB News cameraman and is going to be arrested by police as it currently stands. As you can see, oh, the police appear to have just let him walk off. Keep rolling, Ben. Keep rolling, Ben. OK, this is an... There's a really... They're trying to stop the... You can have your colleague. Okay. You they're trying they're trying to stop that man being arrested at the moment. Okay. People obviously just sorry now, please don't TV news, it's TV news. Okay. Okay. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. You're building on the night. Ben, they want to talk to you. They want to talk to you. Okay. So what's happening now? Keep rolling, Ben. Keep rolling, Ben. 
What's happening now is that a police officer is just talking to my cameraman. Yes, yeah, so as we were filming there, a man came up behind my cameraman and slapped him on the back of the head, knocking his glasses off as well. The police did not arrest that man. It appears that he got away. Thankfully, my cameraman is fine and he was able to carry on filming as more activists arrived and more police attended that scene as well. So, as you might have seen in the melee there, unfortunately, our cameraman here was assaulted, was punched in the back of the head. Um, the individual who did that ran over to this way. The police have done their best to try to get hold of him initially, but then the protesters have come in. Um, and so we're just waiting to see what happens there. But yeah, the atmosphere here is incredibly tense as police have started making arrests of some of the people here. What you'll be able to see now is that there is an increased police presence in front of that bus. Like I said, they've started to make some arrests. The crowd are shouting, shame on you, mostly at the police. And it appears as though they're not going away anytime soon. Uh, we'll just keep you updated. But there's an individual being carried into a police van here. Shouts of shame on you. OK, there we go. There are people that have formed a human chain around an individual here. F*** off, please. Okay. Fuck shot Oscar. Go away. Okay. Who is it that you what want to let go? Oh, off. Do you not understand? Oh. OK, so I think there's people in this van that they obviously don't want to leave. So... They're trying their best, they're trying their best. Here we go, they're trying their best to block, to block the police van so, so nobody who's been arrested would be able to leave. That's what the point of this is. You can see there's more and more and more police coming every single minute now. There's a big cordon here in front of the bus. These vans have all turned up. Okay. And there's... Um... Okay, all right. Uh, there's quite strong feelings here. Uh, vans now all blocking the road and there's some people in these vans who have been arrested. Again, the crowd are desperate to try to not let them go away to detention. But all the people who were by the side of the bus have now been moved. I, I would imagine that they're probably in some of those vans that we saw before. So the police are trying to clear the way so that this bus can then leave. Okay. Sorry, sorry. Shouts of oh, shouts of Nick it. Sorry. It's a free press. Free press. Okay. Now look, I know you're feeling, but we are here to report on it. Okay, we are here to report on it. Who speaks? Who speaks? So the Home Secretary tweeted this whilst I was on the scene, actually saying, uh, housing markets in hotels cost the British taxpayer millions. We will not allow this small group of students posing for social media to deter us from doing this right for the British public. Unfortunately for Mr Cleverly, though, the fact is that that small group of students did deter him from doing what's right for this country. And the fact is that this incident was policed completely differently from the way that the St George's Day event was recently. It's mob rule, isn't it? Now, I've been surprised by some of the reporting on this. The London Evening Standard said video taken on Thursday morning showed an apparently peaceful protest with activists surrounding the coach with linked arms chanting, say it loud, say it clear, refugees are welcome here. Yeah, it also showed a lot of the stuff that I've just shown you there, didn't it? Uh, there was a reporter there from The Guardian who came over and said that he'd witnessed the assault on my cameraman and said that he thought it was awful. That incident has yet to make it into any Guardian articles that I've seen, anyway. The cameraman in question managed to get footage of the man who actually did assault him, and here he is. So there we go. Hopefully he can be identified and actually brought to justice. That footage was just by coincidence taken a little bit before the incident itself actually happened. Now, in case uh, you are wondering, the bus has now left the scene without any asylum seekers on board. And I think it's fair to suggest that maybe the mob won.